Hi everyone, my name's Luke from Hybrid Logic. I'm going to give you a quick demo of some of the very exciting cloud deployment technologies we've been working on. Basically, the idea is that you can log into this control panel here with a username and password we give you. Then you can spin up clusters on cloud infrastructure across multiple data centers and even multiple providers. Your web cluster will therefore be resilient to failure across entire infrastructure providers. In other words, a whole cloud can go down and you can stay up. So I'm just going to click Add Cluster here, and I'll show you the options for spinning up a new cluster. At the moment, we've got infrastructure integration with two companies, Elastic Hosts, who have three data centers in the UK and US, and Cloud Sigma, who have a data center in Zurich. If you're a cloud infrastructure provider running KVM, by the way, as many new OpenStack infrastructure providers are, we're very interested in talking to you because we'd like to add you to this list. So here you can specify how many servers you want in each data center. So as a sample setup, you might want one server in each of uh, these three data centers in London and the US, and, and three in Zurich. You can also specify how much storage you want. Um, so that's five gigabytes at the moment, but you could have 50 or 500. Um, or even more, or, or 5,000, depending on your requirements. Um, and you can specify how much memory you want. Um, so here, for example, this is just one and a half gig of memory in each machine, which is quite meager. Um, if you have a lot of websites to host, you can push this all the way up to, say, 8 gigabytes and and an 8 gigahertz CPU. What that really means is, four, is, is a quad-core machine with for 2 gigahertz CPUs. You can also pick a domain. You'll soon be able to buy your primary domain right here, but for now we're using subdomains of hybridbeta.com. So let's call this cluster demo.hybridbeta.com. You can also specify the admin password here. This is your key to log into the cluster control panel once it's been started up for you. You want to either pick something memorable or write down this automatically generated password because you're not going to get another chance to see it. It gets SHA-1 encrypted as your default cluster admin login as soon as the cluster has been spun up and it's not stored in plain text anywhere on our system. We're very serious about security. So I'm just going to go and write that password down. And that's it. Now I'm going to spin up um, a three-node cluster in Zurich just by clicking provision. What this is doing now is going away and simultaneously talking to potentially many different cloud infrastructure providers to install servers in the different locations you requested. It also starts spinning up your nodes across them. And as you'll see in a moment, you'll get a comprehensive display of what's happening with your spin up across all of these different infrastructure providers. So here we go. So what it's doing here is spinning up three servers simultaneously. There's no reason that you couldn't do 10, 20 or even 100 nodes at a time, depending on how many websites you need to host. The cluster is totally horizontally scalable. First what's happening is that it's creating the system disk. This is just a completely stock FreeBSD 8.1 system disk which we've squeezed into a 1 gigabyte image to make it fairly quick. The next step is to actually create the instance on the cloud infrastructure provider. This brings the system disk and the storage disk together under a single virtual server instance. This happens pretty quickly and then as soon as it's done, which it has done here on all of these machines, um, we then begin installing the cluster software. The instance boots, which as you might have seen normally takes about 70 seconds, and then our deployment technology proceeds to log in and start configuring each node as identical web serving cluster nodes. Each server gets bind, Apache, MySQL, Python, PHP, Perl, and a whole lot of other software installed on it so that you can run just about any LAMP website you can throw at it. Crucially, the installer also sets up our proprietary cluster software, which joins together the nodes in a cooperative group using our cunning distributed algorithms. This means that they gain the ability to recover from the failure of up to n nodes. So even if you suffer the failure of an entire data center or cloud infrastructure provider somewhere in the world, as long as you've spun up your cluster across multiple different infrastructure providers, 
if the rest of the cluster will be able to take on the work that those nodes were doing, rescuing your websites within seconds, rather than having hours or days of downtime. Now, I can give you some insight into how the installation process is actually working here, because underneath this nice web front end we have a sophisticated SSH-powered deployment system. So if I click View Console here, you'll be able to see the installer doing its job, installing all the various bits and pieces of software which, when combined together, allow you to host websites. This is the work which normally takes a developer hours or days to do, but we do it automatically for you in minutes. OK, so now we're nearing the end of the installation process, we should be able to watch the clusters, this cluster start to come up. Now, I'll just go here. and grab the unique UUID of this cluster. We'll put that into our magic box here. And um, now you should be able to see that one of the cluster nodes has come up. And here comes the second one. And it's starting. And there, there we go. Second cluster node has appeared. And here we can also see the control panel being installed. So we've got the control panel at my.demo.hybridbeta.com. And look, we've also got the MySQL database for the control panel. So even before the third server has been fully installed and configured, we've already got a working cluster. Might as well wait for the third machine to come up, though, so it can join in the fun. There we have it. Now we have a three-node cluster set up on cloud infrastructure from nothing in minutes. So before we can log into the control panel, there's one last thing we have to do, but it's pretty simple. The first thing I need to do before we're going to be able to log into it is create some name servers for it. Luckily, I can do that quickly with one click. So I click Sync DNS. What this does is two things. It creates one name server for each cluster node. Now the DNS system has redundancy built into it, so even if only one of the cluster nodes is still alive, your DNS will still resolve. Then it delegates everything under demo.hybridbeta.com to be under the control of those name servers. If you were doing this for a real domain, it would be exactly the same, except the system would register the name servers directly with the registrar rather than with our own custom DNS setup. The fact that these machines are showing up as green, and therefore online, is directly being reported live from the relevant infrastructure providers, and being amalgamated into a single view for you here. One thing we can do to prove that these are real servers is VNC into one of them with this password, for example. So if I click Open VNC here, I get a login, I can paste my login there, and there we have it. That's a real FreeBSD server. But the really interesting bit now is, uh, is to click Open Control Panel here. Moment of truth. And here we have it, a brand new web cluster for you to log into. So I'm going to go and look and log in with admin and the password that I set up in the first place. And I'll click Sign In. And there we go. Here we have your brand new cluster control panel. I'm going to take a break now, but in part two of this screencast I'll show you what you can do with your shiny new cluster control panel, such as setting up WordPress blogs, fully replicated MySQL databases, uploading your own PHP via FTP, and then finally we'll revisit the master control center, show you how you can play with the distributed algorithms directly in your web browser, changing load on different websites and killing whole servers in order to convince yourself that this truly is an N-redundant, self-balancing web cluster.